Hello there, gamers and retro gamers. I am the Killer Gamer. I love when the title kind of like cycles through the different colors and kind of like, you know, flashes, glows. I always like that uh, on the Atari 5200. It's kind of like, ooh, this is a cool game. Because <laughs> not, not all of them did that. So we got the Atari 5200 here and we got Defender, which is a I think a great uh, conversion of the arcade classic. Does it look exactly like it? No, but it's decent. It gets the point across, and the gameplay is pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and play this. We are on Defender, one player easy. Uh, which <laughs> I suppose if you're really good you could play hard and, and you could play many multiple levels uh, this is one of those games where mm, takes a lot of practice but we just kind of jump in and just play you know, just play a, a fun game for a little bit it's not like we're trying to do a playthrough or something Dang it, I was trying to get that little human that was getting picked up. Oh, really? I have those smart bombs. I need to remember to... Remember to use them. Got the miners. <laughs> Boo! We'll just have to play another one. Oops. I hit my smart bomb. What? I must have not seen that. I hate those things. Yeah, the, these are, you know, this type of playthrough is kind of like the type of playthrough that, you know, most people, <laughs> they kind of get in and they, they play some uh, and, you know, they don't get too far. This is what made the... Uh, classic consoles back in the 80s so great uh, you know we didn't have emulators or anything like that we didn't have MAME uh, phew, that would have been great but um, yeah you know I mean it costed money you know in the arcade and it really added up you may think like 25 cents that was really nothing uh, it was when you're only making like three bucks an hour <laughs> you know I'll remember one time I spent 50 bucks I had a paper route and I spent 50 bucks on just quarters and I went to the arcade and man I had a blast 
Oh, my mom was not happy. <laughs> she was not happy that I spent. You spent it on what? <laughs> so I, I made. I can't remember what happened. I don't know. She said that you. I don't think she grounded me, but oh man, she was not happy about that. You know, because it was just kind of like you just blew all your money on stupid video games, but. You know, it's not like it went to the arcade a lot. You know, I there was a uh, 7-Eleven uh, that was within biking distance. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I bike to, but uh, there's you know there's a 7-Eleven that I went to to play a, a couple of arcade games. I remember they had Dragon's Lair there, and I also bowled to the uh, well, bowled. I biked <laughs> to the bowling alley, and if you look at Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. There's a bowling alley that they go to. It's that same exact bowling alley. It's the same one. That was so when I when I watched that movie and saw that, I'm like, dude, that is so cool. <laughs> All right, let's do some uh, let's do some more here. It's the Berserker, right? I think that's what that thing was called. to level three. What? I didn't hit that. Come on now. <laughs> I was asking for that one. Not supposed to. Oh! I took too long. Did I... Oh, I hit one of those little things. Ah, dang. All right, we'll do one more.
crap. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> oh, what did I do get a... Dang it. Anyway, these games were, were great with your hand and eye coordination uh, and uh, stuff as far as reflexes. And I think they kind of helped, uh, you know, practicing at home before you went to the arcade and, and did the actual playing. But, and for those um, that weren't able to go to the arcade, this is a great way to have it at home. Anyways, that's all we're going to do for this episode. We just kind of play a little bit, just kind of like in the old days, you know? You plug in a cartridge, play a little bit, and jump to another cartridge. But that'll be another episode. And we've already got several that we've done already, as well as other consoles. So be sure to watch some of the other ones if you love these retro games. It's all in a playlist called the Killer Classic Museum. Check it out. Subscribe and click that notification bell. Leave me some comments too. Um, you know, if you played this classic game that you played on the classic consoles, which one did you play it on? I'd love to love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video. Have a killer, awesome day.